Alright guys, so as I was saying, I was planning on doing a video where basically that's basically called Into the Mind of a Pro. And the point of this video is to do a similar thing as an educational, but not really. So basically, instead of talking about what the plan is, what I'm going to be doing, and what's good, what is bad and stuff, instead it's going to be what am I thinking about right now, what's the plan, why am I choosing to do this? and basically just talk about what's going on in the game and yeah that's basically it so since it's not an educational I won't really be talking a lot when I'm last hitting creeps because there's nothing to say like it's not like right now there is anything I can say however I'll be mentioning like oh yeah I can see that purple player is moving towards the rune like because that's things that go through my head because the point is to get inside of a pro's head and what we think about so like Something to note first is that when I'm playing like a short lane pebbles like I'm doing right now, my eyes are not in the lane. Like I, I keep an eye on creeps just to last at them, yes. But my, my, my eyes are literally in the mid and bottom lane all the time. If you just follow the webcam what my eyes are doing, you'll see that they're all the time going towards the minimap because there is nothing for me to look at. My support is supposed to be able to push out this suicide by himself. If he ever needs help, I can see that on my minimap as well. Like I can always pay attention on the minimap uh, what he's doing. And at the same time, I can always also help out the other lanes. Like, my job right here, right now, would be to basically just toss out, like, oh yeah, I can see some forest is moving mid, be careful, and give them extra extra things. That's one thing about support players, for example. The, the thing about support players is that they don't have a lot of things to do, and a lot of things to focus on, which is why it's so important that support players, in competitive aspects, talk a lot. Like, Insania, for example, was one of the most... Um, he he talked a lot, and that's because he he knew how important it was to always talk about what's going on in the game. And uh, some pl support players don't do that, but since support players oh shit, I just lost playing control. Since support players don't have a lot to do, that's something a good support play, uh, player wants to be thinking about. Like, you wanna oh, I can push this guy. I can actually kill him here. Yeah, there we go. Um, what was I saying? Uh, so yeah, a good support player should always be telling the team, like, what are you doing? What's going on in the map? Um, where is that person? Don't forget the rune. Shit like that is very important. And uh, not a captain's job, because a lot of people seem to mix things up, like, captains are supposed to do X, captains are supposed to do Y, and yeah, sure, we, we do have a lot of things that we were supposed to do, but at the same time, Every role has their individual thing to do as well, and I'm gonna check top rune actually. I'm gonna leave that creep. It's fine since we got bloodlust. Um, and support players, one of their roles is being very active in chat. I didn't actually pay attention if who got the rune, but anyway. So, <clears throat> how to play like a pro? Step one: drink coffee. Step two: buy stocks and pretend to know what you're doing with them. <laughs> Am I doing this right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, now we talked about that. Anyway. <clears throat> you. He can go mid and do that instead. So right now, uh, basically, uh, my eyes are simply just paying attention to mid and bottom, and uh, I don't see anyone on the map. There's four heroes missing on the map right now, but I do have a lane ward. So there is no reason for me to be afraid, I don't need to back, I don't need to do anything. There's no rune either, so the chance of someone getting a haste or an invis is very low. I also have 800 HP, so I am in... I just saw Pharaoh on the minimap there, for example. So I know Pharaoh is sitting behind the trees in experience range, so if I wanted to, as soon as Monarch is back here, I can... Oh, never mind, Pharaoh's leaving, and you can see two heroes mid, you can also see Mag and Solstice on top of each other. So they're looking for a, a play here, Solstice backs off. And there's blue behind them, blue behind them, so I'm gonna ping there, for example. Like, there's a lot of things that go through one's mind when you're... Uh, I'm gonna kill this guy. No. I'm not sure if we got him here. One is coming. What's up? Careful, Magnus. Magnus. Ah, shit. Did he seriously dodge that? What the fuck? Uh, I saw uh, Magnus on the ward uh, right here, but I didn't need to worry, because... Cancel out, though. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Now I'm pissed. 
Uh, I saw Magnus on the on the ward, but there was no reason to worry. Like he was not gonna reach me anyway, so that's why I didn't back off. I did think I was gonna kill the Pharaoh there though, just by chucking, but obviously that didn't go as planned. And Magnus is now walking back mid lane. All right, so we got Steam Boots here. I'm not gonna walk up in case he tries to wall me into the tower. We got one spell. We got blights. All right, so I need to pay constant attention to where the enemy lane is right now because I'm pretty low. I'm not planning on going back anytime soon, um, so I got to be pay a very close attention to the top one in mind. What about keeping veiled rod? Keeping veiled rod is very important, but I, there's no, they're not going to smoke at this point in the game, and especially not when they want to shut down the master of arms mid. So I'm not afraid of that in the in the moment right now. So we just uh, fucked up a kill and missed a lot of last hits, so we're actually down to 360 GPM now, which is bad. You want to be 400 here, especially with Bloodlust. Uh, we can see that Sulphorus is currently farming EC camp and Geo is near him. Uh, bottom lane, he's just sitting still doing nothing. Pharaoh is missing as well, should be TPing back soon. I should keep a close attention to the tower here, if he ever TPs in. Other than that, uh, we see Teal going behind mid. He's right there, gonna ping for my team, make sure that they know he's there. They're gonna try and dive mid, Sulphorus is also coming. I'm coming as well. This is what goes through my head all the time. Obviously, this happens every minute of the game, and I'm not gonna keep repeating things. That would be kind of annoying, but. Kill, kill, kill. Go. Just to give you guys an idea of what's going on, that's how I'm thinking all the time. And when something like this happens, a free man uh, gank, I'm not gonna put my camera there. I'm simply just gonna look at my teammates' HPs and how they're moving on the minimap. If they're running away, it's most likely that they're low, like the enemy heroes. If my team is chasing them, they're most likely losing the fight, and uh, like the enemy team is losing the fight, and my and they're also low. And if my teammates are running, they're about to lose. There's no reason to ever put your camera here. You could if you want to. I do it sometimes, but there's no reason to do it all the time because you, you can just read what they're doing on the minimap. If you guys haven't figured it out yet, the moral of the story is that the minimap is your best tool, use it wisely. No, I'm not doing an educational, I'm doing a, well, a different kind of educational, but not really an educational. Anyway, so we're back to 410 GPM, uh, getting close to PK. I'm gonna see if I can cancel this TP here. Yeah, we could. All about scaring people, hehe. <laughs> I, I could not have killed him there, by the way. It's a level 5 Pharaoh. I need free auto attacks in my combo. But he doesn't know that. So just show him who's the boss, walk up, and then back off. I, I don't have any vision right now behind the tower, so I gotta be a little bit careful. We only see one hero on the map. We, oh, two heroes on the map now. They're both mid, and now a third one bottom. So maximum, it can be a Sulphorus and a Pharaoh top. Pharaoh is not level 6, so even if Sulphorus is here, they cannot kill me. Uh, gonna toss on Pharaoh to get him low enough. Right now, he dies to a combo and two auto attacks. So if I can get my combo here in 4 seconds, I'm gonna stun him. He's just level 6 now. If I was unlucky there, he could have ulted me up? and walled me in and then had another no, guy coming up. Just wait for your but he didn't. So, uh, 4 heroes missing on the minimap again. Pharaoh is level 6. We gotta be very, very careful here now. Gonna back off straight after this and go jungle instead. Unless someone shows mid, then I'm gonna try and go for the kill. Uh, going for the kill here, if you walk where I'm walking now, he cannot see you. I can walk all the way up to this tree and he can still not see me. Tower's getting low, so I'm gonna go in for the kill. No TP so far, and that's a free tower. It's not an educational, but it's not a type of educational. Yeah. So, we're getting close to PK. Uh, right now, still four heroes missing on the map. I'm level 8, 1200 HP. They need at least two heroes to kill me. Most likely, the sub 4 is plus plus anyone else, because they need to stop me from regening. So, right now, I'm not afraid at all. I'm just going to finish my PK here. Uh, Solstice is top for some reason. I'll toss him in if someone's... Wait, is that an illusion? It's an illusion. What the fuck? Didn't look like one. Alright, so uh, Pharaoh, MIA. I gotta be careful now. We see two mid, we see one bottom. Pharaoh just showed himself top on the minimap, so I'm actually gonna back out. Finish my PK in jungle and go back to base. No reason to farm this. Because, uh, as you can see, they're already left mid, they're already left bottom, I don't see anyone, I don't know where Sulphorus is, he's 7. Uh, Sulphorus ult plus Pharaoh ult, and 2 Qs of Sulphorus, and I'm dead. No reason to risk it, just gonna go back to jungle, kill the triple stack, he's stacked for me before. And get my PK, then we're gonna get a smoke, and we're gonna find a kill. Can we set something up, bottom? I'm buying a new headset very soon, by the way, guys. My uh, payment from Thailand should be here in a week, or 10 days. Like the world finals money. I'll buy a new headset then. 
I'm running. I'm running. All right, the top rune is top. We have two bottom. We don't see Pharaoh. We, this is very risky. Pharaoh could definitely be in here, but we're gonna go for the rune anyway. This is stupid. We managed to be fine though. Actually, gonna walk up behind mid. If they don't have a ward here, he's gonna. Oh, there's the Pharaoh. We found him. We're gonna back out here. We might be able to kill the mag if he walks into me. Ah, shit. Alright. So we get the mag, a little bit greedy by me, but uh, we got him. Uh, let's go back to base, we're gonna pick up power supply, every single hero in their team has spells, power supply will do a lot of work. We could get a vestment, but I don't feel like I need it, because I'm going straight trunk in after PK. So we skip to trunk in, we go for PK, and now we want to smoke, so I bought two TPs, should get one, one veiled Double rot. Take a look at where my next play is gonna be, we see NG mid, we know for a fact Mag uh, Magnus has died, he's either gonna run bottom or mid, most likely mid, around this area. Because what he wants to do is set up another play on mid, because that's where they're play making all their plays. So I can decide to either go for the Shadow Blade, which is impossible. I cannot kill a Shadow... Never mind, he's 700 HP, so I'm going to TP bottom. If he wasn't 700 HP, I would not TP bottom, because it's a Shadow Blade. If he gets his Q off, I will not kill him, so it's very important he doesn't. Going to get the combo here, and he's dead. Nice. Why new headset? I think you sound good. Uh, that's I have a desktop microphone right here. Alright, so we got a combo off on Shadow Blade. We see two people around mid. We're not afraid of anything right now. We got combo in four seconds. We just saw a third hero. Uh, Lord of Forest. Uh, Magnus is getting very, very low. He tries to stun in. If Magnus stuns here, I'm gonna go for a double combo. Don't wanna go yet. Magnus is still in the background. We get a double combo here. Oh, Mag didn't die. Shit. Thought Mag would die from that. Bad by me. Could have hit him once. Uh, we still see four heroes. We wanna wait out here though. We have PK in four seconds. Combo in seven. He, he canceled my PK here, but it won't matter. Uh, we got a Sephoris and an NG, 4 seconds for combo, we're gonna run in, toss, uh, still 1 second left on the stun, we'll use the stun for the Sephoris, he, uh, he actually didn't get hit by the ulti, 5 seconds for PK still, I will not have enough mana, yes I will, okay, I have enough mana for a combo and PK now, so if we see someone behind the tower we will jump, Magnus is back in base because he's very low HP, Shadow Blade is still missing, and uh, Sephoris is gone, so they did not see me walk over to the other side around Ancients, so we're just gonna sit here, wait for someone to TP in and kill him with m m Master of Arms. Hey, if someone walks up here on the left, I'm gonna instantly combo him. Sorry for talking so fast, but oh, here we go. We don't want to. We don't want to go on him. Oh, what the fuck? What in the fuck? Tossing him down just to be safe. Uh, NG getting really low. He's actually going to get picked off. We got mana battery here and one shuck. Uh, Mag is actually going to end up dying anyway. Both of them are still here. We could go for a kill here, but it's very risky. Uh, yeah, fuck it. We have one spell still. I could blink in and toss back to Sephoris, but I might die for it. Ah, uh, fuck it. Oh, what the fuck? That was awkward. That was just... <laughs> Alright. Well, that was pretty awkward. Will this be on YouTube? Yes, it will be. It will be called Into the Into the Mind of a Pro. As I explained at the start of the game. So yeah, as I was explaining, Shrunken is definitely the item of choice here. We got a PK. Keep in mind, we can never kill Shadow Blade alone, so he's not the target I want to go for. I want to find Magnus, I want to find Pharaoh, I want to find NG. Those are my targets. We know for a fact that there's two heroes bottom, but if we use logic, there should be four heroes around easy camp and bottom lane. There's no other place for them to be. No one's going to walk up top lane when it's so close to our tower. Not a single hero wants to farm here. We know Shadow Blade is bottom, which is the only hero that can farm without dying. So we know for a fact that no one is top lane. So everyone, every single hero on their team is between Ancients and bottom lane. And we just killed someone bottom, which means they're going to TP there to try and defend their team. So we know that all four are there, most likely. And as you can see, the last of the two are moving down because we were fighting there just two seconds ago. <gasps> so all four are bottom. This goes way faster in my head. Uh, we're not going to jump to Shadow Blade, as I said. It's a bad jump, so we're, not, we're going to wait. He's getting low now. We might go for a double combo, but we really don't want to. Yeah, this is bad. Here, can we get a double combo? Um, NG is probably gonna die here. Yeah, he will. Okay, so we got a toss. Uh, we got a mana battery as well. We're gonna walk up to the Shadow Blade. He is getting low. Five seconds for a stun. Uh, incoming self forest because he just survived. Two seconds for combo. We're gonna kill this guy, stunning first, we're gonna slow combo it, because we have two silences, and he's dead. And that's a five man genocide, we got all of our spells out perfectly, and uh, well, we had to leave Geo, but his initiation was not very smart, I didn't have a microphone, so I couldn't tell him not to go, and yeah. 
We got the most value out of that. We got two combos out on that team fight, and we ended up being alive. And yeah, this is... It goes even faster in my head. I can't even speak as fast as the information goes through. <laughs> Dude, how the fuck can you think so fast? You have to. Especially in a game like this. Especially as playing Initiator. Alright, walking back to base. We got smoke. We got a Warhammer incoming from the last 100 gold. We're missing. And we do not have a TP, so we're just going to buy a smoke, run out of base. And, okay, so... Five heroes are alive, they're pretty angry, they already voted to concede. Uh, we're most likely going to see Shadowblade run towards the bottom lane, and Sulphurus run towards this camp, a alternatively Ancients. The other three are currently arguing in their team. Uh, Sulphurus decided to go top lane, I actually forgot that that way was pushing out, so we were wrong about that. Uh, we just got enough gold for a TP. Alright, so we see Shadow Blade mid, we see uh, Lost for his top, no one's gonna go bottom now because then they would have done it already, these are the two heroes that would have gone bottom, so Sephoris so is running in towards Ancients, we're gonna TP mid just to help out our team, otherwise we would probably run uh, TP bottom and run through the jungle to find someone in this area, and that was a very fast game, the game is not even over. Oh, triple combo. And that's the end of this game, that was a very short one. Alright, so yeah, that was Into the Mind of a Pro Episode 1. We played Pebbles, we got 5 0 and 9, 520 GP, actually 500 I think, because we just killed 3 people post uh, CC. And yeah. Yeah, 500. Hope you guys enjoyed that first game. Slap, speak slow. I can't do that when I'm. If I'm gonna tran translate what I'm saying in my head, I can't speak slow.